Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I'm going to be testing the new Cobra Rad Speed Fairy Woods. Specifically, the Rad Speed, the Rad Speed Big Tour, and the Rad Speed Drawer Fairy Wood. So there are some subtle differences with these three fairy woods. First, starting off with the Rad Speed and the Rad Speed Drawer. Both of those three woods have 169 cc's and they're more your traditional shaped fairy woods. The Big Tour is a little bit larger, it's 173 cc's in size and it just has a little bit more weight pushed forward. So for these three fairy woods, they all have 14.5 degrees of loft on them. So we're going to test the uh, Rad Speed, Rad Speed Drawer, and Rad Speed Big Tour models and compare the differences between each model to see if there's any subtle differences. For today's test, I'm going to hit five shots with each model. I do have the Matori F17S golf shaft. It's one of the stock shafts that come with the Rad Speed Fairy Woods here in 2021. Um, one thing that also to keep in mind is adjustability with these models is because we still have the Cobra MyFly adjustable hosel, we can change the lofts around if we need to. So you can go plus or minus one degree, plus or minus one and a half degrees. And also you can make the club a little bit more upright to help with gapping in your bag there too. With regards to colors, so there is two different colors. There is your black turbo yellow and there also is your peacoat red option and both come in gloss and matte finishes depending on the fairway model. So I'm excited to test these models out, compare the differences and kind of explain what I'm seeing between these three particular models and maybe which players should play these particular models there. So one thing to keep in mind, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got plenty more other great content coming your way. While you're at it, if you give us a comment and like our video, we'd really appreciate it. I'm excited to test some shots and take a look at the data. I'm gonna begin with the traditional Rad Speed Fairway. I really like this Peacoat Rad finish. This has got the matte finish on the top. It's a good looking club looking down at it. So I'm excited to hit some shots and take a look at some numbers. Sign me up. So I mentioned sign me up. This fairway wood felt incredible. It felt so good off the club face. It just felt like the ball was compressing really, really easily. It just felt hot off the face. I had one miss it out of five shots there. You'll notice that one, the spin rate jumped up by about seven or 800 RPMs. That was shot two. Um, the, spit, the carry distance dropped by about 10 yards, but that's pretty good for a fairy wood when you catch it low on the face. We'll notice that my ball speed dropped ever so slightly, but it was really retained pretty well. So I was impressed with how forgiving this fairy wood is. One of the hardest clubs for me to find in my bag is a fairy wood, and I was really impressed with not only how far this club was going, it was carrying over 260 going 280 for me, but just how easy it was as, as well. I really like the look of this, uh, this matte peacoat finish with, on, on the top of the, of the club here. It's a good looking club. I was just saying off camera, I haven't hit a fairy wood off the turf in about three weeks since my last event. So I haven't hit three fairy wood at all. So I couldn't believe how easy this thing was to hit. I was really impressed. Not only did I hit it pretty good, but I feel like the ball flight did the same thing every single time. I'm able to generate just that tiny little drawer. We'll notice that those white dots on the screen were just a little bit left of center. We have four shots out there that were between 280 and 290. So I'm excited to test these other two and compare the differences.
All right, next I've got the red speed drawer. I'm expecting the dispersion to be maybe just a little bit left of where the last five shots were. This is the glass looking club. So right now this is what Cobras sent us. I mentioned I really like the matte look a little bit better, but we'll, we'll see how the glass look com compares overall. So I hit five shots with the drawer model. Definitely noticed the bow flight was curving right to left every single time with this particular model. One thing I did notice though, it did fly a little bit higher and spin a little bit more. For that reason, I did actually lose a little bit of distance with this particular model. It was maybe a little bit more consistent with the bow flight, but I definitely sacrificed some numbers. So numbers where I sacrificed was Ball speed starting out, I lost two miles an hour of ball speed. Uh, 158.4 with the rad speed. The rad speed draw was 156.4. So my efficiency went down ever so slightly with this particular model. It also launched a little bit higher, but the spin rate was about 700 RPMs higher with this model. And I lost about 10 yards of carry with this particular model there as well. The ball definitely flew a little higher, so it was about 20 feet higher overall than the rad speed model, but it definitely curved a lot. Definitely had a right to left curve on it every single time, so it was really easy to draw the ball. It just didn't quite suit my eye as much, and I definitely noticed that the numbers didn't go quite as far when comparing the models. So I'm really excited to test the final fairy wood. So this is the big tour. The big tour is a little bit more lower spinning model, slightly larger profile with the weight pushed forward a little bit on the club to reduce the spin down a little bit there too. I'm excited to test that model and then look at the differences between the three. This is a this is a definitely a different looking club compared to the, the three of them. Love that black finish. Very, very pure black finish look to it. Black entirely over the face. Um, I'm excited to, to test this. I can definitely notice, I've been looking at the sole of the club. You can see the weights are all pushed a little bit further forward. So let's take a look at some numbers and see what this, uh, see what this baby can do. Ball speed over 160 right off the bat. Wow, that is, that is smoked. That was ch Come on, 299.8, that's just unfair. First thing I want to start off with with the big tour fairy wood was how unfair. I almost hit 300 yards, 299.8. I've never hit a fairy wood 300 yards, and I was I was almost there. So I was really impressed with the ball speed with this particular model. So more ball speed and less spin is always going to equal more distance for a higher swing player. So this big tour model is definitely a Great option. I bet if I was to turn the loft down on this to, the nice thing with the adjustability is I could turn the loft down on this to 13 degrees. I could probably get that ball, that distance over 300 yards with furry wood, which is something I've never done before. So this is exciting. I, I was really impressed with the numbers with this particular model. We'll look at my ball speed, 160.2 on average. It's not as forgiving as the other two models are gonna be. So I had one miss hit in there that was that 15th shot, 153.8. So we'll notice I lost about eight miles an hour of ball speed on that particular shot. But we'll notice how the spin rate stayed down. It actually still chased out to 274.4. 
So it actually still chased out further. It just didn't quite carry as far. So because the spin rate was less, I, it still was very, very efficient with regards to distance. But then speaking on those other four shots that I hit, 295.6, 296.4, 296.7, and then as I mentioned, that 299.8. I'm still a little disappointed I get to, didn't get to 300, but there is so much potential with this particular model, the big tour Ferrywood. I really liked it. I like the fact that it's just a slightly larger profile. Um, it's a very clean looking club as well. One thing I definitely noticed was the spin rate was definitely a lot lower, but so was the height. So we'll notice the height was under 100 feet in the air. So 89 feet in the air. So it was the lowest of the three. The rad speed was the second lowest in height. That was the first model that I hit. That was 98 feet in the air. And the rad speed drawer, with the weight maybe a little more towards the heel and pushed back in the club, was a little bit higher in height there. So this is definitely a club that's going to be a little lower ball flight. It's going to definitely chase out a little bit more. Low spinner, distance gainer for sure. Definitely a club to consider off the tee as potential there as opposed to even a replacement for your driver if you're having some tough time with your drives there as well. Do want to touch on dispersion. So dispersion, we got a, those four dots with that, with that uh, rad speed big tour, you can see those purple dots over there on the right, very, very, very impressive. That one shot that I did miss it a little bit, notice is a little bit shorter. We definitely notice a trend of it being a little bit more to the right with the big tour. Um, we'll notice that the rad speed was kind of more kind of in the middle. That was the white circle. And then the uh, rad speed drawer, the yellow circle, was just a little bit more left and just a little bit shorter. But, wow, this is quite the club. This, uh, the, the big tour for, for me was definitely the winner today. It's going to be uh, really impressive in 2021. Ferrywood, spin killer, distance gainer. High ball speed, what else can you ask for? So in conclusion, on all the testing I've done over the last couple of years, this big tour Ferrywood has got to be up there with one of my favorite clubs. So I'm really impressed with how great the numbers were and how easy this club was to hit. I could just feel the energy coming off this club face. So I was really kind of impressed. So the Cobra Rad Speed, the Cobra Rad Speed Drawer, and the Cobra Big Tour Fairy Woods are going to be exciting for Cobra in 2021. Definitely picking up gains compared to their other kind of models. They're always, it's always exciting to see Cobra. They've got a little more kind of techy stuff going on with them. They're always, you know, the colors, the look are always kind of like fancy. It's always exciting. And I'm no doubt having Bryson involved with the team on, on, on tour to help them with regards to testing is no doubt helping Cobra catch up with other competitors there too. So. I'm excited to see how well these clubs are going to perform. No doubt you viewers are excited to see how well these clubs are going to perform. To come into our stores or work with our fitters online, we can definitely get you fit for a new Ferrywood that may pick up some distance gains that I was seeing here and maybe make it a little bit easier for you to draw the ball or hit the ball a little bit straighter. So I'm excited. Make sure you bring in your trades when you club, so bring in your current Ferrywood. We do take trades. We're one of the highest industry with regards to values for golf club trades online and also in our stores. This is, this was, this was a great test today. I'm excited to see how well Cobra is going to do here in the future. Thanks for watching.